Welcome to episode 41 of 5 Minutes with Alex, a real estate podcast for the week of June 12th, 2023. In the market news, now that we're on the other end of the debt ceiling crisis, we've seen rates overall go down, but volatility has still been incredibly high. So look no further than last week, where we saw huge swings with up and down. We saw reports coming out that uh, showed the European region is entering a recession, with negative GDP readings for the second straight quarter, and negative revisions to the first quarter readings. So. At the same time, surprisingly, the Bank of Canada and the Reserve Bank of Australia announced rate hikes after each of them had paused. So this week is not going to be any different. We expect this to be a big mover, but hopefully we're going to be getting some good news with two key inflation reports coming out on Tuesday and Wednesday. On Tuesday morning, we get the Consumer Price Index Report, or CPI. And on Wednesday is the Producer Price Index Report, or PPI. At the same time, the Federal Reserve is kicking off their two-day meeting. Their rate hike decision is going to be coming out on Wednesday at 2 p.m. This actually might be a good thing because they're going to have the benefit of seeing both the CPI and PPI reports coming out just before then. So if we see inflation numbers come down significantly, which we are expecting, can they justify future rate hikes in the face of those reports? We shall see on Wednesday. In the mortgage corner, let's talk about the fixation on interest rates and why your clients need someone to explain the big picture of their finances. I'm going to use a real world example. I had a buyer who was referred to me who was looking to make a move but was very apprehensive about moving because after all, they'd be exchanging a mortgage rate in the low threes with a rate in the mid sixes. This is going to increase the mortgage payment about $1,800 a month for this client. So upon first glance, this this seems like something that nobody would want. How many people would sign up for a mortgage payment that's $1,800 a month more and be excited? How many people have you talked to who said, I'd love to move, but I don't want to give up my rate, my low mortgage payment? So two key points. Everybody's going to be different, but the first is that an interest rate does you no good if a home doesn't meet your needs. A low rate on a home that is either way too large with too much upkeep or it's too far away from friends and family or it's maybe it's way too small or old or cramped, whatever that is, that low rate doesn't help that person. Secondly, our finances do not operate within a vacuum. So this client was sitting on about about $165,000 to $170,000 in equity that was untapped, not working for them. In the meantime, they also had $120,000 in consumer debt between auto loans, credit cards, and personal loans, which was draining about $3,500 a month in payments. So in other words, they were worried about the scratch on their arm, increasing their mortgage payment, but meanwhile, they had a massive wound on their leg that was bleeding out. So by selling and getting a home that actually fits their needs, benefit number one, this client is also able to now get out from all of their high interest debt, and in total, is going to save them about seventeen hundred a month when all is said and done. Now, that's going to be life changing for them to be able to eliminate that much in consumer debt and payments. But also, when rates drop, they're going to be able to refinance and save even more money in a home that now meets their needs. Not everybody's going to have that same scenario, obviously. In some cases, yeah, maybe they're going to decide that it doesn't make sense for them. But there are a lot of situations, particularly with equity at an all-time high, that it is going to make sense for someone to have a mortgage advisor take a look at the big picture and explain that to them. A call center or a website will not take the time to explain the big picture. Not a sermon, just a thought. Finally, our quote of the week. To effectively communicate, we must realize that we are all different in the way that we perceive the world and use this understanding as a guide to our communication with others. That's by Tony Robbins. Have a great week, and if I can help you or any of your clients with any questions or pre-approvals, let me know. They can visit me at homeloanswithalex.com. Have a great week.